Hey guys, alright, so without wasting time, let's start. Let me just show you the operating system that I'm currently using. I'm using KDE Neon, the user edition, which is based on KDE and it's uh, 5.2. Alright, now I'm just gonna open my terminal and I'm gonna show you new fetch. That's the stock new fetch. I haven't done any changes on it yet. And as you can see, that's the stock KDE Neon logo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit this logo and put a custom logo or put a custom ASCII logo of yourself. Alright. So let's start. Uh, open your browser and just open this link. I uh, mentioned it in the description. Now, open a file that you want, or open a, you know, logo that you want, open an image for that. I prefer this one, so I'm just gonna save it, save image here, so I'm gonna save it in the downloads, doesn't matter, save it anywhere, and I'm gonna choose this file. Make sure the image width is... 70 all right if it's a small image go for 80 if it's a long image like the one i have taken the length then go for 70 if it's a small image something like this then maybe you can go for 80 90 it doesn't matter but also make sure that uh, the width increases as well width and length so you know just make sure of that i prefer 70 uh, now see the text color that we always want on terminal is white so choose white and the background that we want is black so just select black and that's it press enter and you'll find the result or I'll just show you again once you choose the file enter the details background is black just click on convert and you're gonna see the ASCII has been generated just copy this copy it from the start till the end Control C or you can just copy open your uh, file manager go to any folder that you wanna use and just create a file just create a text file uh, open it with your you know favorite text editor and just paste it, paste the logo over here. Once you do that, you're gonna make sure that the spacing is correct. So, let's say this is our logo. Just find the middle which is closer to the, you know, uh, the numbers. So, I mean, don't choose this or don't choose this because this is the f furthest. But uh, choose this. I'm sorry I'm not so good in English, but uh, alright. So just press shift and press the arrow key. And make sure to count uh, the number of columns that you're removing, yeah? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and maybe 20. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna do that for all of it. Shift and then one, two, three. Okay. Maybe one more. All right. So I'm just gonna fast forward this from here. Alright guys, so now as you can see the spacing is properly done. What you need to do is, just need to copy this logo. 
copy and just minimize this you can minimize your browser window as well go to your root partition scroll down click on user and then click on bin now over here just search neofetch neo neo f-e-t-c-h press enter you're gonna be shown a file right click and open with your favorite text editor so i'm gonna use uh, k write because i'm used to it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scroll down all the way to these logos as you can see here now replace the logo that you don't you know that you don't use so let's say I'm gonna replace the logo of Cubes, Cubes OS, because it's not a good operating system anyway. So I'm just gonna copy the whole thing, and I'm gonna right-click and click on paste. I'm so sorry that happened. Let me just remove that. Go back to the text file that you had edited, click on copy. Go back over here and click on paste. Once you paste the logo, as you can see it's cubes here, yeah, just remember this name cubes. Uh, Ctrl S to save the file. You'll have to enter your root password. So I did that. Minimize this file and open your file browser once again, open your file manager once again. Go to home directory, click on the three dots over here or the lines over here. Click on show hidden files. Alternatively, you can even press Ctrl H to hide and show your hidden files. Go on this folder dot config and you'll find a folder named NeoFetch. Click on that. Open the config configuration file. Just double click and it'll open up. And scroll down all the way somewhere over here. Yeah. So scroll down over there. And this part, line number line number 748. As you can see it shows auto. I'm gonna replace it with Cubes OS. So, was the spelling Q U P E S? It's case sensitive, guys, so make sure you type it properly. Cubes, Control S to save the file. And once you open your terminal back and type NeoFetch, it's gonna show you the logo, the logo that you made. Alright, guys, so that's it that's for the video now I'm just gonna give you some tips on how to change the colors and how to uh, you know change the information that's being showed here like let's say I don't want uh, WM information or WM theme to be shown so uh, if you want to know all that you can just stay tuned and I'm gonna show you everything right now now the file that we opened up to this one configure config scroll back all the way up that's for tip number one guys now let's say I don't want the this is known as information title I don't want this to be shown once I type new fetch I'm just gonna put a hash key over here as you can see on line number four I just put hash key I don't want this extra line to be shown so I'm gonna put a hash key over here as well <clears throat> I don't want my operating system information that's OS information to be shown so I'm gonna put a hash key over here as well I don't want my laptop information to be shown so I'm gonna put a hash key over here as well that's my laptop information that's my motherboard information I don't want uh, you know my WM WM theme to be shown so I'm gonna put uh, hash key over here I'm gonna put a hash key over here but all this information as you can see is 
not currently shown but it is included in the console uh, the new fetch new fetch uh, you know new fetch script i want the font to be shown so i'm just going to remove the asterisk from here and it's going to show the font on the next uh, new fetch command i'm going to save the file so i'm just going to press control s as you can see it's green so it's saved i'm going to type new fetch all over again and fetch and as you can see the font is shown my laptop model is not shown my all that line break and all that uh, additional information that I don't need is not shown anymore <coughs> so that's it guys that's for tip number one now tip number two I'm gonna show you how to change the colors in the logo now of course you guys don't want some people prefer white color, some people prefer mix of blue and red, some people prefer mix of yellow and green, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Alright, that's the most interesting part right now. I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm gonna open the uh, NeoFetch config, uh, NeoFetch file. That we save the logo in. Now see, as you can see, there are four set colors mentioned over here, but we are just using one set color for now. Now let's say I want this line to be a different color from here, yeah? From here, I want, till here, I want it to be a different color. So, as you can see, color four. I'm just gonna put uh, maybe yeah from here don't make sure not to put any spaces in between yeah press dollar sign open bracket C2 close the bracket and that's it control s I'll ask you for your password just put your password back new fetch you can see a different color maybe I'll just change I'll change the color to maybe 7 save it and as you can see it shows a different color over here I'll maybe put uh, color to as 1 and save it And as you can see, there's a different color over here, there's a different color over here. So, this is how you edit the colors on the logo. Or sorry, on the ASCII logo or ASCII. Mm, what the fuck, so ever. Yeah, I'm not so good in English, man. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna show you the logo that I have made uh, around a year back. So I'm just gonna close this. I've saved my logo on a different operating system name and that was just gonna change it from here. I guess that was Sun OS. I'm not so sure but let me just see. Yeah that's the logo that I had made for myself right let me just clear the terminal and new fetch and that's the logo I had made for myself so guys you can you know you can make as many logos as you want and just save them uh, next time you run your fetch it's gonna show the logo now for tip number three uh, most of the times you would have seen that when people open terminal, NeoFetch automatically loads. How to do that? Just close me. Oh, just give me a second. I want an extra space, so I'm just gonna remove the hash from you. Alright, so what you need to do is just go on your home directory and you're gonna file. Uh, you're gonna find the file named bash rc. Bash rc. Right click. Open with your favorite text editor. Just scroll down all the way, 
and just press enter so just give just leave some space in between and type neo f-e-t-c-h neo fetch control s to save and you can close that's it now once you press once you open terminal your neo fetch is automatically loaded I'll just show you once again once you open terminal that's it your new fetches and uh, yeah just consider subscribing and liking in case you're stuck on any of these steps just comment and I'll be more than happy to help you guys on the comment section yeah in case you need something uh, in case you need some other help uh, you can just mention on the comments and I'll make a video on that all right guys stay safe and take care